Intel plans to invest up to $4.6 billion in a new semiconductor assembly and test facility near Wrocław, Poland, as a part of a multi-billion dollar investment drive across Europe to boost chip capacity. It said it expects the facility to be up and running by 2027. The US chipmaker announced plans last year to build a large chip complex in Germany, as well as facilities in Ireland and France, to take advantage of relaxed financing rules and subsidies from the European Commission as the EU seeks to reduce its dependence on US and Asian supplies. The company said in a statement that the Polish facility would employ 2,000 people and create several thousand more jobs during the construction phase and through supplier hiring. Poland was a little hungrier to win this site, Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger told a news conference. Several countries have been vying to get Intel to invest in their regions, and some, such as Germany, which has secured a commitment from Intel, have been in talks over the amount of subsidies they can offer. Speaking when he visited Wrocław on Friday, Poland's Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki said, we are delighted that Intel, a Silicon Valley legend known for its innovation, is leading its biggest greenfield investment in Poland's history. Chips and semiconductors are critical 21st century technologies and we look forward to expanding Poland's role in the global semiconductor supply chain and establishing it as an economic trendsetter, he added. In October last year, the Department of Commerce Bureau and of Industry and Security announced it that it planned to overhaul its export administration regulation. The Center for Strategic and International Studies, a U.S. think tank based in Washington, said the controls were aimed at limiting China's ability to obtain certain high-end semiconductors kind doctor devices with the potential military applications, supercomputer development and maintenance, and advanced semiconductor device manufacturing. The German government and Intel are close to agreeing on a 9.9 billion euro subsidy, up from 6.8 billion previously agreed, Handelsblatt, German trade newspaper, reported on Thursday. The cost gap was suddenly higher than we had originally estimated because labor cost went up significantly. Material cost went up significantly. Intel's Gelsinger declined to give any details on the amount of subsidy, but he was hopeful that an agreement could be reached. The gaps are too big. If we can close them, we will shake hands and move forward, Gelsinger said. How much Poland plans to offer Intel was not disclosed when announced on Friday. Facility design and planning will begin immediately with construction pending European Commission approval. Intel under Gelsinger has invested billions building factories on three continents to regain chip dominance and better compete with rivals AMD, Nvidia and Samsung. 